Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be this very simple, glowy and natural makeup look that is supposed to help you feel better when you're sick and make you look your best. As an adult, we sometimes have to go out and face the world, even when we'd rather be just in bed all day, feeling sorry for ourselves. But that's the joys of being an adult. Sometimes you just have to get out there and face the world, even when you're feeling crappy. Today's look isn't going to be revolutionary. It's not gonna be something that you haven't seen before. It's just all about making you look natural and healthy and glowing when you really actually feel like crap. I'm so sorry that I've been MIA for the last few weeks. I've just been so sick. I have just not been able to shake this virus or whatever it is I have and I've just been had a sinus infection on top of it all. It's just been so horrible and on top of that I had family weddings and one of my best friends got married and it's just been a really full-on month for me. Sometimes life happens and you have to prioritize your health over YouTube so I'm sorry about that but I will be back with lots of content very soon. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. So without any further delay, I'm rambling again. I always seem to ramble. Let's just get on with the tutorial. Okay, so if you're sick, you wanna make sure that you have your skin hydrated and cleansed properly because you'll have a lot of flakiness and probably a lot of just not so nice stuff building up on your skin from just days of being in bed or whatever it is. So the next thing you wanna do is, after you've moisturized, is to apply a primer that will give you some radiance and some brightening and maybe a bit of color to your face. I applied some fake tan today, so I'm quite bronzed on my body, but my face is looking super pale and tired. So I'm going to go in with the Clarins Eclat Minute Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. This is a radiance and bronze boosting primer. And a little pump of this is just going to help add some color to my face and just make me look a bit more awake to start with. Just adding one pump of this to my face will help to smooth out my skin and just make me look a lot healthier. You can blend that in with your hands or with a brush. This is the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. Now, so once your primer's on, you wanna go for a very hydrating, dewy and natural looking foundation. I like to pick one that has coverage but still looks very natural because your skin is going to be dehydrated and you're just gonna be looking a bit dull and lifeless if you're feeling sick and tired. So the glowier, the better. I've picked a few foundations here to um, give you an idea of what would be the best thing to go for. You could try Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. This is a gorgeous glowy foundation that has a bit of coverage, which most of them are. The Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow, same thing. Nice coverage, but nice and natural and glowy. A more affordable option would be the Bourjois Happy Light Foundation. And then a new favorite of mine is the YSL Touche Eclat foundation, very glowy but with a nice bit of coverage. All of these foundations are about a medium or buildable coverage foundation. I think today I'm going to go for the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua because I think it's the best shade for me at the moment. I'm just going to shake that up because it's quite a watery foundation and then apply some to the back of my hand. And I'm going to use the same brush I used for the primer for that. This is a really nice foundation brush, the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. It helps you to get the best coverage out of your foundation. It doesn't really like strip away any coverage, but it blends it in really nicely too. I have a hair in my face. I just got foundation in my hair. Okay, so now that that foundation has given us a nice, natural, glowy base, we're going to go in with concealers. Concealers are your best friend when you're sick. You can correct darkness underneath your eyes, you can hide your blemishes and redness, they're just amazing. So we're going to use a few today just to get that kind of flawless natural look, if those two words go in a sentence together. My eyes are feeling a little bit dark and tired, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pink tone concealer to counteract that blue and darkness underneath my eyes. Today I'm using the Bobbi Brown Extra Light Bisque um, Corrector, but you can use any corrector that you have. So I'm just applying that right where I have that darkness. I'm just going to use this It Cosmetics Dual Ended Eyeshadow Brush. I'm just going to use the fluffy end to blend that pink concealer in. 
Sorry about my nails, they're like super grown out because I've been sick and I just haven't had time to get them done. I haven't had the energy to get them done, not even time, I've just been so sick. So as you can see, that pink helps to brighten and lighten up the eye area. So now I'm just going to go in with a regular concealer over any darkness, redness, or just my under eye area in general that I wanna keep nice and bright and awake looking. Today I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is the shade Neutral Medium, but you could also use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer or even the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, just whatever concealer you have really. And then using that same brush, I'm going to apply that under my eyes. I'm just taking that right across. I like to take it down in by the nose where I have some redness from being sick. And I also just have some scarring on my chin. And I really like, even though this is an under eye concealer, I think it works really well on scarring. You just need so little of it as well, which is always good. You don't want to feel like your face is super caked with makeup when you're sick because you already feel just so heavy and gross. Now I'm going to go in with the YSL Sunkissed Blur Perfector Cream Bronzer and the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm just going to add this to the perimeter of my face and on my cheeks to add some glow. I really like this cream bronzer. It's really natural looking and it blends in so nicely. I'm using creams again because it's just gonna make the skin look nice and healthy and radiant. When I'm sick, the last thing I wanna be doing is touching up my makeup, so I'm going to set it. I have been loving the IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. This white powder, I'm gonna use that to set under my face. It looks very stark, but actually when you put it on the face, it doesn't turn out super white, so don't worry. I will show you. So I'm just using that on a Napoleon Pardis foundation brush because I like the pointed end and I'm just pressing that under the eyes. There's actually not a lot to these powders, like coverage-wise, so you get a bit of color, but you don't get cakiness. God, what am I even saying? Can you tell I've been sick? I'm just talking crap. I'm just going to use that on my top lip, down the center of my nose, and in the center of my forehead as well. Seriously, the sun is ruining my life today with this lighting. Ruining my life. Just stay behind a cloud, go away. Stay behind a cloud. Before I move on, I'm just going to use this Eye of Horus Sahara Nude Goddess Pencil across my lids and in my waterline. This is going to help take away any discoloration on my eyelids or any redness and on the inner rims of my eyes, it's gonna make me look so much brighter and more awake than red and tired and sick. So just applying that to the waterline and to the eyelid. You could also use this on blemishes on your face. It's like a concealer basically, but it's just a multi-purpose product. You can use it in so many different places. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. I'm a huge fan of Eye of Horus liners in general. You've probably seen me use them lots because they just stay so well. They're one of my favorite liner products ever. I just used that on a dark blemish on my chin and it worked really nicely. I'm just going to set that with the same powder I set my concealer with, just before I forget. And then to set the rest of my face, I know this seems like a lot of steps, but for me, to make myself look my best when I have to face the world and go to a meeting when I'm sick, this is what I like to do. I'm going to use these hourglass powders. This is dim light and this is incandescent light. I like to swirl them together and then take a little bit more from the dim light side because this can be kind of shimmery. Tap that off and then just set the rest of my face with it. This will set your face without looking powdery and you will keep that natural kind of radiant glow that you want from your foundation, but also set it at the same time. Now I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer and I'm going to use that to warm up the perimeter of my face. You could probably skip that YSL cream bronzer. It didn't quite show up on my skin today. I'm probably not pale enough for it at the moment. 
I'm just going to sweep some of that across my cheeks and around my forehead and under my chin. I'm just going to quickly do my brows now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. Just brushing my brows through first and then I'm just enhancing my natural shape and filling in any sparse areas. I'm going to set that with the Benefit Gimme Brow in light. This just helps your eyebrows look hairier. Hairier is not the right word, just more fluffy and textured and natural. Just applying some of the Mecca Cosmetica Lip Delicious. I really like this. I feel like it's better than the Viteri Balm de Rose and a lot cheaper too. Okay, so back to the face. I'm going to use a pop of pinky corally peach on the cheeks. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blusher in the shade Tipsy. This is just a really youthful, radiant face brightening shade, which is exactly what you want if you're feeling a little bit bleh. I'm gonna take that on the Zoeva 105 Highlight Brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for blusher because it's just the right size. I'm just gonna take that on my brush. and just circle that into the cheeks from the apples backwards. These blushes are very pigmented, so it's a good idea to build up the color rather than just go in with a big dollop of product and look like a clown. We've all been there. It's very easy to add more product, but it is not easy to take away blusher if you've added too much. You'll be blending for hours. I want to add some glow to my face, so I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Beige. You can just use whichever highlighter you want. I'm sticking to the lighter portion of this highlighter and I'm just applying it in a C shape, kind of right there. I like quite a strong highlight, but you do whatever suits you. This is the Real Techniques Setting Brush, by the way. I love this brusher. Brusher? Brush. I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna apply some to the tip of my nose, to my cupid's bow, and finally, I like to apply some highlighter above my brows. I feel like the light hits me really nicely there when I do that. But you don't have to, you don't have to do anything I do. You can just do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so for the eyes, we're not doing anything special or revolutionary. This is just going to be a really simple, brightening eye makeup look. So today I'm gonna to use the Steal It In The Light palette and I'm just gonna use two shades from this palette. Very, very simple, something you've probably seen me do before, but it just really works for brightening up the face. So I'm gonna take the shade Bliss here. This is like a cool, taupey brown color. I don't know, I can't describe anything. And that's just going straight into the crease with the Sigma E, oh, there's like fluff on my brush. With the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, which is one of my favorite brushes because it's nice and big and fluffy. So I'm just slapping that on into and above the crease. This is just going to give our eyes some definition and depth. I really like this palette, I don't use it enough. But I do really like it. So just keep doing that until you feel like you've built up to your desired intensity. And then I'm going to take the shade Kitten, which is amazing. I'm just gonna take that on a Zoeva Lux Smoky Shader 234 brush. And I'm going to apply that across the lids, up to the crease and to the inner corners. Very messily, you don't need to be precious with this at all. This is a beautiful shimmery champagne shade and it's just going to bring light and radiance to your eyes. I don't know what other use to I don't know what other words to use like light, radiance, youthful, glowing. I've used them all a hundred times. So just apply that to the inner corners as well. That will really open up the eyes. And then just taking the blending brush we applied the crease shade with. Just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I believe that's the term people use on YouTube. And just really blend that in. 
that is all we're doing for the eyeshadow today. We put a lot of work into the skin, which I think is so much more important. So the eyes are just going to remain very simple. To just give a little bit of definition to the lash line, I'm using the Eye of Horus Babylon Brown Liquid Define. I think this is for the brows, but I like to use it here as well. It's just like a brown liquid liner and I'm going to push that down into and up into my lash line, just on the outer corner. You can do this with eyeshadow, you can do it with a coal liner, just whatever suits you really. I just really like this one because it stays really well. If you haven't checked out Eye of Horrors, do they like have some really good products and they really deserve more recognition. Okay, so I've just done that to the outer corners of my lash line and I feel like that really helps to thicken up the lashes and give definition without weighing down the eyes. Another Eye of Horrors product, I'm going to use their Goddess Mascara today because this doesn't smudge and if you get weepy eyes or anything throughout the day, this will not go everywhere. This is really separating and lengthening and it gives you a very nice, natural, fluffy lash look rather than a clumpy look. It's really nice. I don't curl my lashes normally because I do have quite curly lashes, but doing that will help you look more awake in that as well. If you want to do that, if you have very straight lashes, it's a good idea. Just applying a little bit to the lower lash line as well. I got a few flecks on my eyelid, which I always do, but I'm just going to let that dry and then I will go back in with a cotton bud and just flick it off. So I'm going to leave it for the moment. For the lips, also keeping it really, really simple. I'm just gonna use a nude that has a kind of berry undertone, kind of like Max Whirl. It's a nude, but it has that like pinky natural shade underneath. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Le Marc Infamous lipstick shade 228. I think that's what it's called. This is just a mini that I got in a set, but um, you could also use the Max Factor Lip Finity lipstick in the shade, what is the shade? Evermore Lush, it's very similar. That's the shade of the Max Factor one. I think the Max Factor lipsticks are out now, but if not, I will leave a date in the description box. This is the one I'm using from Marc Jacobs. It's a very similar shade, but I just really love the formula of these. I'm not using liner or anything. I'm just applying that messily and then dabbing my finger over the top to make it look more like my natural color. So that is the finished makeup look. A really simple, natural, glowing look that's just gonna make you feel so much better and more able to face the day when you're feeling sick. I know as an adult, sometimes you just have to get up and just do it, even though you don't feel like it. And hopefully this makeup look will make you feel a little bit better. Please share with us in the comments your top makeup tips or just well-being tips for when you're feeling sick, just the things that make you feel better. I'm sure we will all benefit from the tips if you share them in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you again really soon.